So as you can see, I just right click and then press X and it'll do a perfect jump throw. So I bind it to X, so I'm just gonna right click, X, does a perfect jump throw. Right click with flash, X, right click with the smoke nade, X, does a perfect throw. So you are gonna have to do the right click action first because for some reason in the CFG that's blocked. You usually do that anyway with a jump throw, but if anyone was wondering, no, it doesn't press two keys for you. It doesn't work that way. And that's how you do a jump throw. So like, leave a comment below if you need any help. The command is this and bind it to whatever key you want. So you could change the X to like a V anything like that do remember just to type this into the cfg file one line for each so anything that starts with alias is a new line and anything which, which starts with bind is a new line go to steam to the cs2 game right click press manage browse local files this will open up the cs2 game folder which is still counter strike global offensive from here just go into cs go and then go in the folder that says cfg and we want to right click and we want to press new we want to press note pad document and we want to save this as a jump throw so i'm going to save it as jump throw cfg press save and i'm going to edit this so you can right click edit now on your computer you might need to just make a text document with notepad edit it and then save that as a .cfg the way that i just created and saved it is because i have file extension names turned on in windows so i can just rename a file into a different extension and i also have notepad plus plus so if you haven't got those two things you can just make a text file and then export it as a cfg so it looks exactly like this this is the cfg that works so you can just type this in, copy and paste as a CFG and execute the file in the console exactly like I showed you. Also do bear in mind, you do want to copy your CFG files and you want to go back into Counter-Strike and then game and then CSGO and then CFG and you want to paste them in here too. The reason you want to do that is because CS2 is also using a different directory. Even though it still has the old directory, this should be the new one which actually works. So if you're getting an error right now, which is basically input service exec couldn't exec or it couldn't find your file this is basically the fix so just paste them in this right directory up here so it would just basically be this type in exec and then type in jump throw to actually open up the file and then it'll say exec and jump throw is binded on the x key as you know and if you don't have a nade it'll just it'll do the jump every time you press x so you know it's working so you could technically use it for b hopping but it's kind of like impossible <laughs> but then that's how you know it works so leave a like comment below if you need any help if you don't really understand it and make sure to subscribe for more cs2 videos and guides see you real soon